up fellas so i wanted to try something a little bit different this week as you guys know i'm all about diversity i like iron man athletes as the title would probably suggest banana crow has flopped his slug out yet again oh that's not this episode okay First of all, welcome back to our Dreadnoughts Relocation franchise. This week we are taking on the 4-4 four four Philadelphia Eagles. These guys are absolutely killing it, IRL man. It should be a very interesting matchup. John Ross is being tried out at cornerback. He comes in at 31 overall. He has 20 man coverage, 28 zone. He has terrible all over coverage stats, but amazing speed, amazing agility, and an 83 catching rating. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to use a John Ross for this episode. Going to be taking a little bit of a breather from Davo. On offense, of course, Henry Tulloch will be taking over for him, who's pretty much just a little bit of a worse version of John Ross. Even though he's 68 overall, this guy is actually pretty damn good despite what his overall says. But I figured since Mike Williams was already out with injury, we might as well just go ahead and bomb the offense even more. We're always going to have Henry and Starvin Garvin to bury us out anyway. Now we've got to renegotiate. It's been a while since I've recorded this. Shaq Lawson, the liability. He's not interested, but that's completely fine with me. Adolphus Washington, only 24 years old. I'm going to give you the max, big dude. Uh, we don't have any funds. We're negative in the funds, fellas. Completely aware of that. It's not my issue. It's not our issue. As soon as it comes time that we get fired, we're simply just going to create a coach. I'm sorry, Terry Pagula, but that's your issue, mate. I'm not inheriting your debt, and neither is our channel. Right, let's go ahead and scout a couple of college players. A cornerback would be nice, but if there's not one in the top 10, which there actually is, Glenn Nolan out of Clemson. We've already got him on the watch list. What is our draft board looking like? We've got a right and middle linebacker, left outside linebacker. I remember now, we definitely need to make an emphasis on getting linebackers and probably a wide receiver if one shall fall to us. Derek Gregory is a red zone threat with A minus, B plus, and B. He's looking pretty solid. And of course, we have Exel Clark from Delaware State, who looks pretty damn good for a six round talent. Now, of course, remember that the off season is gonna be live streamed anyway. So you guys will be there to draft with me. We have two first round picks. But that being said, fellas, I'm ready to jump into the game. Hopefully you guys are hyped. And without further ado, Let's get it. And it's a feeling that I can't explain. How you make it in your team still stay the same. Stay I was going to check the uh, season standings, but I forgot to do it. So we'll do it next episode. But let's worry about this game for now. Leonard Henry, the offense completely is relying on you for this game, my dude. We need you to come up so damn clutch this game. And I ran straight into the back of my offensive lineman. Talk about Trent Richardson, mate. This wasn't part of the plan to start it off, but it's all good. We got Starvin Garvin out here. But look at this, Henry Tollick, the replacement. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! I told you this man could come up clutch. Third and 12 in the first quarter. Offense, like expected, it's pretty garbo so far. But you know, that's my fault. I wanted the challenge, so we're damn well gonna go ahead with it. King Grant across the middle. That pass was. Oh. Oh! That pass was whack, man. Oh, this is gonna be interesting, boys. Oh, Fanini. Oh, I ran straight past him. John Ross is too fast, mate. He's too fast to be on defense. <laughs> Tom Savage is leading the Philly Eagles. They got Sammy Watkins. Oh, that's right. We traded him there. <laughs> Boom! John Ross with the kill stick, boy. I got stuck. He didn't even make the tackle anyway. That sucks, dude. And I have no idea what we're going to do on offense. Absolutely zilch ideas. All right, let's jump into one of our passing formations and see who's actually out here receiving. We got Godwin. Ah, it's Cecil Shorts. Not bad. Not a bad receiver, actually. And he dropped it. <laughs> he dropped it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. 
Come on, that's an O lineman taking him on, bro. Way to go, Avril. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's go, boys. Come on, man. This is the other rookie, Voorhees Nelson. That is a pick six, my dude. Oh, mate. <laughs> I knew we could come back. Shit. Pop him! It always gets me nervous when they come out with so many blockers. Because Theo Riddick, man. Oh! Let's go, John Ross! There we go. Oh! No, you're running the wrong way, mate! Oh, I thought he... Could you imagine if I picked that? I'm going to get the pick on Sammy Watkins. If they want to go to Sammy Watkins, I'll get the pick. Ah. Oh, damn it. Shit, I don't know what my zone is. That's another pick for Voorhees Nelson. Go, son! <laughs> Bro, could you imagine? Oh, he's playing like an animal. That's the rookie right there. Wow, jeez. Ah, uh, that's a little bit dirty, man. Mate, I've never seen somebody catch the ball and then drop it so many times after catching it. It's crazy. Wow, you got wide open, man, on that damn corner. I'm becoming blitz from this side, mate. Oh, actually. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Jack Lawson, Mr. Injury himself. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How'd you let him get so wide open? Who's the penalty on? On them, right? Nice. Even though neither quarterback has thrown a touchdown and both of us have thrown two interceptions each, it's a pretty close game, mate. Come on. <laughs> we got two bum ass tight ends out of here. Oh, yikes. <laughs> oh, hold on to the ball, bro. It's so cringe watching this offense go to work because there is no offense. That's the problem. Nice. I fear a touchdown will put us out of reach right here, man. Unfortunately, but that's just the case. Alright, boys. Locked down, man. Locked down. The run game has been shut down pretty well. Oh, come on, man. It's Tom Savage. Where's the fumble? I feel like I'm going to have to put Starvin Garvin in the running back, man. Uh, let's try and get the blocking here, if possible, please. That's overthrown like crazy. I'm in a little bit of a crossroad right here. I don't know what to do. I'm a little bit lost. But I had R1, or oh, RB, sorry, wide open. Shit. <laughs> you just get blocked straight away. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. I thought I'd give him a shot. Might as well, right? You dropped it? Oh, you got it. Nice. Out of bounds. Oh, he was over the line. Really, ref? Come on, man. At least let me have a chance of having a comeback. Oh, Leonard Henry receiving. We don't have one legitimate receiver out here right now. Out of bounds. <laughs> We're so screwed right now. Why did 
didn't you block? What was that weak shit? <laughs> Holy yakamole. Yup. No way. Let's go, man! We got bailed so badly just then. Miracles do happen, but not today, fellas. It's a shame we can't even put him in a position to run the ball, because maybe we could come up with a fumble. Always got to try to stay optimistic, but... Yeah, that's GG. Good job, man. All right, so checking out the stats on the day. Tom Savage... Uh, yuck. Brock McDaniel had a really, really, really bad game. 38% completion rate, 7 from 18. Keep in mind that about five of those incompletions, if not more, were drop balls. Straight up caught, hit, and drop balls, mate. Even on possession catches. Neither of the quarterbacks threw a touchdown. So pretty poor performance by both of the quarterbacks. Rushing into things, we just could not do anything out there, mate. Literally, I could not find a way to muster anything up. Leonard Henry just kept getting hit. I mean, the offensive line at times was all right, but other times just might as well not have even been there. Henry Tullock has 62 yards, Leonard Henry 13, he's actually our second best receiver, and Starvin Garvin with 8. On the defensive end of things, John Ross led the team in tackles, man, that's actually crazy. He put in a lot of work today. The same as Voorhees Nelson, our rookie cornerback, he had 6 solo tackles, 2 interceptions on the day, which totaled 110 yards, including an 85-yard pick six which is ridiculous man our defense definitely did step up and nearly won us the game had our offense been able to actually muster anything together it's a loss we're still six and three so we should be right up there in the top the best teams in the nfl we just have to come out next week even stronger if you made it this far into the video you are the real mvp my dude i hope the rest of your day is awesome and from me personally i'm out Slugs out. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake, cause I don't fucking care.